Hi, I'm John from WorkshopAddict.com. We've all heard the term impact drivers and impact wrench, and since they look fairly similar and sound a lot alike, I wanted to put a video together to kind of talk about the similarities, differences, applications, and give you a little bit of information so you can convert the specifications to make sure we're looking at apples to apples and oranges to oranges and make some sense of the specifications. First off, how they are similar. These both have an impact um, mechanism in it where when whatever you're driving, whether it be a screw, a bolt, a nut, lag bolt, it starts to see resistance, there's a hammering sound. And what that is is a rotational hammer. So just like if you were using a hand wrench and you were trying to take off a nut and you couldn't get it, you can't get it, you're fighting it, what do you usually do? You grab a hammer and you tap it. What that does is it breaks the friction and allows that nut, that bolt, whatever, to spin. This is doing the same thing. Whenever it sees some resistance, it gives that little bit of a hammer to keep that rotation going. So that's how these are similar. Um, applications. Impact wrenches are heavy duty. They have more torque than impact drivers. So they're typically used for industrial applications, auto repair, um, you know, putting together flanges, with, any with nuts and bolts, they're very large bolts and nuts. That's what these are for. These are used to drive a socket. Impact drivers are used more for driving screws, usually deck screws or even lag bolts. And where they differ is, uh, besides the torque, is the impact wrenches typically have a half inch or in some cases a three eighths inch square drive that will accept sockets and that's its purpose. Um, the impact drivers have in here a quarter inch hex shank receiver. Um, you can either some of these pull out, some push in, but basically you've got to have a screwdriver bit, a square drive, even drill bits that have a hex shank. These fit in here, they lock into place, and that's what they'll take. Now, to make sense of some of the specifications on this, so we've got the applications, auto, heavy industrial, this is for screws and nuts and bolts, or screws and lag bolts. Now, Impact drivers are typically rated in inch pounds of torque. Impact wrenches are typically in foot pounds of torque. So, what does that mean? For instance, this Milwaukee impact driver is 1600 inch pounds of torque. This rigid is um, 1750 inch pounds of torque, and I believe this one's also 1600 inch pounds of torque. Big numbers. Impact wrenches over here, we're looking at the compact rigid is like 300 foot-pounds of torque and all the way up to this Milwaukee, which it can drive up to 600 foot-pounds of torque. Smaller number. Now, the difference is foot-pounds and inch-pounds. To convert these, if you're looking at an inch-pound, let's say 1,600 inch-pounds, you take 1,600, divide it by 12. You're going to get it right around 133 foot-pounds of torque. So you got 133 foot-pound versus 600 foot-pounds. In the same manner, if you want to figure out inch-pounds, you'll take these and divide or multiply by 12. So it's a simple conversion. If you're going from inch-pounds, you're going to divide. If you're going from foot-pounds, you want to multiply by 12. That's so when you're looking at these, you can make sense of how much you're actually going to drive. The reason why I say this is I've been asked a lot recently. Can you take an impact driver and use it to take lug nuts off of a vehicle? The answer to that depends on your torque setting for your lug nuts. Now, a typical, looking up online and, and from what I know, typical lug nut torque settings are between eight, 80 foot-pounds and 120 foot-pounds of torque. That's your typical, depending on your make and model of vehicles, they differ. Matter of fact, a Porsche, there's a Porsche uh, Carrera, I think it is, goes up to 450 foot-pounds of torque. But typically, in your domestic vehicles, you're looking at 80 to 120. Again, we said this one, matter of fact, all of these is 133 or above foot-pounds of torque. So, for most applications, you're going to be able to take off your, your tires with your lug nuts. So, that'll work. But your quarter inch drive is not meant for that kind of stuff. It'll work, but that's not its purpose. It's more for this type of the, um, driver. Now, with these kind of drivers, you're not gonna wanna make any kind of adapter or anything to drive screws. They are just overpowerful. You can drive lag bolts with these though, because 
your leg will, will fit in a socket and they are much larger so they're not going to snap off. But I hope this makes a little bit, clarifies a little bit of the differences of drivers and wrenches and when you're looking at the numbers actually what you're looking at. Um, if you have any questions, did I miss anything um, you want to add to this, please put it down in the comments. This video is made to help everybody understand better, make better purchasing decisions, and know what they're looking at. So anything you can add to this to help would be great. So hopefully this helps. Come on over to the Workshop Attic Forum and talk tools with us, show us your projects, anything kind of fun like that. Subscribe to this channel and hopefully this is helpful. Until next time, I'm John from WorkshopAttic.com. Talk to you later.